right. So let's get started on this month's train. This is all about sink stakeholders. Who's who in the zoo, the food, the sink food chain. So um, also, yeah, got everybody's message who either had conflicts or um, I guess a handful of us are watching in the dashboard, which is great in your own time zone. So that's perfect. Um, they'll be uploaded in there probably in the next 48 hours or so. Um, all right. So for those of us that are on the training now, I see some other people popping on. Hold on one sec. So let's go into the training here. And this really sets the tone for the training this month. Sync is actually quite easy once you give people what they already want. And I'll tune this a little bit. I don't want to say it's quite easy, but it's a lot easier once you give people what they already want. And so tonight, I want to spend some time understanding what people want and how supervisors, whether we're working in the space or soon to be working in the space, can understand their pain points and give them what they want, whether it's filmmakers, clearance agents, pluggers, or rights holders. All right, so let's back up and do a little context here on the three tenets of music supervision, the three roles. Um, some of us from the sync school might remember this, the music, the middle, and the money. This is going to give us a backdrop for the training tonight. Um, so music is the content, the music we license. Uh, the middle are the people that manage music and media, supervisors, clearance agents, pluggers, um, they're in the middle of that hinge, right? And the money is the person who's buying, right? They're writing the checks. So the role of music is artists, publishers, labels, and libraries. They control their IP and they can say yes, or they can say no. The middle is us, the supervisors, clearance, sync agents, and pluggers. The money is filmmakers, networks, brands, and ad executives. They're the people that have to have meaningful, impactful music for their projects, and we serve them, okay? The pain point for music, um, a lot of the music we use is they have too many opportunities. That's a pain point. Um, we use kind of top tier music. We don't use a lot of unknown music. We use songs that everybody has heard. And these rights holders have too many opportunities, right? So that's actually a problem for them. Um, indie music may be the exact opposite. They may need relationships and they may want to make more money. Top tier labels and publishers kind of make too much money, right? They have too many relationships. So it's a weird dichotomy there. Um, the pain point for the supervisors is time, deadlines, and budget. We have to get something done in three weeks. We have to move fast and uh, move the ball. The money has a different pain point. They are concerned about liability as we work with Microsoft. Um, you know, they don't want to become a Pizza Hut from two years ago where they're being sued or a Home Depot or an Audi who was sued some years ago. They want to stay clean, stay off the radar. Another pain point for our money, our filmmakers, are access to rights holders. They don't know who to talk to, right? They want great music, um, but they don't know how to go about that, and that's fine. Um, air dates are a big problem, too. If they have a show airing in a month and they've waited to the last minute to manage their music, that's a problem right so we make that problem go away and lastly is they don't know what they don't know they they don't do this they shouldn't have to know how this works and that's why they hire us and lastly let's talk about the value add how do they how does the music add value it's hit music meaningful music that everybody knows and loves right um and they can say yes or no so um, the middle, the supervisors add value because of their expertise, relationships, and re reduce liability. 
And lastly, the filmmakers not only make great films and episodes and sitcoms, they also, at the end of the day, write the checks, right? So this is a quick kind of backdrop to understanding the conversation of the sink food chain, okay? Up and down the food chain. 